Do I look at the camera? Do I look like this way? Where am I looking? Somehow or another, I ended up taking on the challenge of a cheese chugging contest with a senior in Feast, um, of which I emerged victorious. I didn't do super well in English. I, I did okay. I did reasonably, I, you know, I might get A's, but it was, you know, the teacher never said, you're great in English. You're a great writer. No one ever said that. I think I would want my superpower to be that I can help people become more empathetic. Fictional lawyer, that's good. Uh, growing up, it was definitely, um, what's his name? The guy in, uh, Few good men, Tom Cruise, uh, McAfee. Right, right. Jean St. Pierre in the English department, who was my uh, junior year English teacher and absolutely became um, a really significant person in my life and uh, someone that pushed me when I needed pushing um, and, and pulled me back from the edge when I needed that too. And for sure, one of the most um, the biggest honors that I've had at Andover is being able to officiate Jean's uh, graveside service and memorial service here in the chapel several years ago. I tend to be drawn to the pieces that have a million tiny little details and you have to pay really close attention and the longer you look, the more you find. I <clears throat> don't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, I've had friends joke, they're like, didn't you join the army? And I said, yeah, I didn't join the Navy. A game that I, I was taught by Mr. Kuda, so we named, he named it Scooter Ball, um, where you're sitting on these uh, little pallets that roll around. It's kind of like basketball, but with, with scooters. Um, it's a great game we play in PE, so that would be my favorite game. Yeah, I would be a travel agent. Um, I love travel and adventure. I love planning fun, amazing, incredible, um, and really unique experiences for myself and for other people in particular. Do you remember the 21st night, September? Well, I was born in September, so it's a no-brainer. But that also has the best line in musical history. Our hearts were ringing to the, to the key that our souls were singing. So good. <laughs> One was testing butterflies, um, painted lady butterflies, and seeing if they responded to a magnetic field. So you can imagine that in the in the science room, in the lab room, we had built this huge like butterfly dome, and had magnets arrayed around it, and we we're measuring with a compass the magnetic field and um, light and food for them, and, and trying to figure that out. We have so many questions for Warren Moorhead. I think we would probably, you know, want to lock him in a room and interrogate him about so many fairly minor mysteries with cataloging. Uh, I'm afraid that Warren Moorhead, who was our first curator and then, then, the, then ultimately the director here um, in the early days, he was not very good at record keeping. Fantastic place, it's a hard place, but if you do your best each day, can laugh a little bit, breathe deeply, you know, look around, don't look at the ground all the time. I think that's, that's where the, the fun and beauty of, of life is. It's great to have long-term goals, but don't lose sight of what's really right in front of you. Thankful that I'm a part of a community that, um, that feels like a family and that um, I know I can sort of rely on when things aren't going well. I really appreciated the kind of help and support and guidance that I had from my instructors and house counselors and so forth here at Phillips Academy. I said, you know what, if I'm going to do this for a living, this, this is where I want to do it. 